हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन माय नेम इज मनोज शर्मा एंड आई एम योर कोच फॉर दिस एंटायर कोर्स ऑन सी आई एस एस पी यू नो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी आई एस एस पी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वाई पीपल फेल सी आई एस एस पी सैड नो डाउट इट इज सैड बट येस मैनी पीपल फेल सी आई एस एस पी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क मी सर हाउ मेनी परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल फेल सी आई एस एस पी एक्चुअली देर इज नो डेटा बिकॉज दिस एंटायर थिंग इज वेरी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंशियल यू मे नॉट कम टू नो ओके हाउ मेनी परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल फेल सी आई एस एस पी बट वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन ट्राई टू डू ए क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ वाई पीपल फेल सी आई एस एस पी एंड सिंस फॉर द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स आई एम टीचिंग पीपल सी आई एस एस पी Uh, we have lots and thousands and thousands of uh, success stories as well but sometimes there are some failure stories as well right because people reach out to me sometimes in the very last moment and there is no sufficient time because the exam is just 10 days uh, after that and i may not be able to help properly so that is where uh, my analysis on this entire stuff let's go through that and do let me know if you agree with me or not before i dive into the entire stuff let's do a cost benefit analysis of both the things what if you fail cissp what will happen you are going to lose your 749 dollar if you fail your second attempt also what you, you are going to uh, lose is 749 plus 199 dollar but even if you fail don't you think you learned a lot obviously you will learn a lot because as i told you in the previous section right you have to go through all eight domains and believe me knowledge never goes for waste however we are just not going to get satisfied only by knowledge when you apply your knowledge it is always good to get that stamp as well you need to get certificate as well and when you pass the real cissp exam that time you are called as successful right that time you are not only gaining uh, the knowledge you are also gaining a lot of respect you are going to get a credential which is uh, you know respective everywhere in the industry you are going to get yourself a lot of huge self respect apart from other people respecting you for that you will get a completely different perspective maybe the way your leadership look at you will change once you are getting cissp certified however unfortunately many time people fail cissp let's do a root cause and try to understand what are those reasons why people fail cissp because this is going to be a critical fundamental activity for us to actually understand why people fail cissp so that you can avoid such things going forward so let's dive into this and try to understand the entire failure i will take it in two phases one is during the preparation phase and one is during the exam so let's understand one while you are preparing for cissp what are those most common mistakes which candidate does and because of that they actually fail the exam as told you the one and the fundamental reason and the most prominent one is the lack of the right mindset if you do not have the right mindset you don't know what is being asked what is being expected from you obviously you are going to hit around the bushes and because of this immaterial of whatever time and effort you have put in for your cissp exam you are bound to fail so that is a lack of right mindset and don't worry i am going to give you the framework for that in the same course later on the next thing is lack of planning people think cissp is something which i have to do and they start taking book start reading it cover to cover and uh, what happens you know they start with with full josh but what happens after some time um, their focus changes there are so many work commitment as well and obviously you know reading is boring so uh, they get distracted and their plan stops in the middle so something which could have been a matter of few months is going to be a project for the entire life 
I know people who are preparing for CISSP and they have the aspiration to do CISSP for the last 10 years because they are taking it as an operation. They are not taking it as a project. So you have to treat it as a project and make the plan accordingly. Now how to do that? I am definitely going to help you in this entire training. Lack of questions practice. Many people, they just go and watch certain videos and all these kind of stuff. They feel like just taking a small course, we are going to get everything. CISSP is huge. Until unless you dive deeper, do not search for courses which are just few hours and they just give you a false sense of understanding. They might look very super simple because they are not talking too much about the content they are talking very very high level those kind of things are not going to prepare they are not going to help you at all search for a training which can give you in-depth knowledge about the particular concept in a very short and concise way so uh, after the particular training or after going through the concept it is very important that you test yourself against some questions because no, knowing something is not important. Validating your knowledge is more important. So you need to practice questions before you actually go for the real CISSP exam. So that's, that is one of the reasons what I have seen people don't practice much. Next one is referring too much stuff. And this is very, very true for many, many people. Often time you will see internet is full of so much of content about CISSP. Everybody is talking about their own story about CISSP. And you know, maybe all of them are right. Few of them may not be right because they are just talking something which comes to their mind. But if you're referring to too much of stuff from these different uh, people out there, you are getting impacted what they say all the time, then you will keep jumping from one content to the another content and you might be lending up reading too much stuff which is actually not required. This question, this entire CISSP is all about having the right mindset, the security leadership mindset. May not be too much of content may not help you. So that is one of the reason which I have said, you know, people fail the entire, uh, you know, effort. The next one is trying to memorize everything. I have seen a lot of candidates who say, uh, sir, I am overwhelming because I am I'm trying to remember everything. There is too much of things to remember. And I simply say them. This is not a knowledge exam. This is not a memorization exam. Obviously, something you need to know and that is where will you can make your own cheat sheet uh, which can help you. But trying to memorize everything and keeping everything on top of, of your head may not work. So, refrain from this particular activity because that is not the right intent. Many people prepare for CISSP with all the effort, but I have seen people first time, they are not going to book the exam. Uh, they will keep on postponing it. Why? Because there is a fear of failure. And even if these people go to the real CISSP exam as well, that is also where the fear of failure is so much that they go with a negative sense and that land up into failure. So these are few reasons as per my 10 years of working with all CISSPs. Now, what happens during the exam? In the exam, sometimes I have seen not all the cases, very, very selective cases I have seen that people are so anxious in the entire CISSP exam. And because of being too much anxious, their focus is half divided into that worrying thing rather than fo focusing on question. And that is one of the reason why people actually fail the CISSP exam because the, the focus is kind of divided in that particular case. So that is one of the major reasons why people fail. The next reason which I see is not comprehending the question well. And believe me, this is one of the major, major problem. Not many people are able to comprehend the question well. Now, many people, they come and give the excuse, uh, actually we are not native speakers and you know that is why uh, we were not able to comprehend it well. It's not the case. Even in people in European Union, people in US as well, sometimes struggle uh, comprehending these questions. 
so the difficulty is not intensely put in there uh, the intent of the CISSP exam is to validate you cross validate you but their intent is not to just unnecessarily increase the complexity they will only sometimes use some alternate keywords or some alternate words just to make sure that as a security professional you should also be aware with some alternate keywords otherwise most of the time they are not trying to confuse you but even if you feel like many questions might be so tricky and you find multiple questions as the answer one of the probable reason is you could not understand the question well that is why you feel like multiple answers are there for the one question how to do that i know it's a little difficult to talk about at this point of time don't worry i am going to talk about all these kind of thing as we go further in this particular course for now i think we got some very good intel and these things will help you in your cissp exam these are the kind of things which you should avoid with that said all the best and i am going to meet you in the very next video i am super excited to see you there Thank you.